It is November 21st as of the recording of this video, and being one month into the NBA season, I'm sure we can all agree we are seeing some pretty weird stuff at the moment. We got the Jazz as the first seed in the West, the Kings are actually doing well and are currently on a 6 game win streak for the first time since January 2005, and yes, you heard that right. And it seems like we got half the league competing for the scoring title. But in this video, I'm just going to cover one topic only, and that's the top 3 players competing for the NBA's Most Improved Player Award. Cue the intro. At number 3, we got Tyrese Halliburton. As I'm sure many of you know, Tyrese was drafted 12th by the Sacramento Kings in 2020, but already having De'Aaron Fox, the Kings didn't really need two ball dominant point guards, so they traded Tyrese to the Pacers for DeMontis Sabonis. To be honest, this trade seemed very questionable at the time, especially for the Kings, but this trade gave Tyrese the chance to thrive in Indiana, and he's taking full advantage of that. Last year, he averaged 17 points, 9 assists, and 4 boards a game. And this year, his averages are up to 20 points, 10 assists, 4 boards, and 2 steals per game, while shooting 50% from the field and 40% from deep. You may be thinking that his numbers didn't go up that much, which is true, but he's leading the Pacers to a 9-6 record in the East after we all thought the Pacers would be in the Victor Wenbenyama sweepstakes. I'm excited to see how the Pacers go on this season, as they look like they have secured their franchise point guard, and I can definitely see Tyrese in the most improved player conversations if he keeps up his stats, and especially the winning. Number 2, we got Laurie Markkinen. Now here is an interesting one. Laurie Markkinen was the 7th pick by the Bulls in the 2017 NBA Draft, and he was a pretty decent player when he came into the league, averaging 15 points and 7 boards a game in his rookie season. Laurie got traded to Cleveland last year and it looked like they had a pretty promising roster, but he only put up 15 points and 15 boards last year, and it was looking like he already reached his full potential. But boy were we wrong. This man got traded to Utah in the Donovan Mitchell trade and all of a sudden turned into a second coming of Dirk Nowitzki from Finland. He went from averaging 15-5 and five last year to 22 points, 8 rebounds, a block and 54% from the field. Not only that, but the Jazz were also in the Victor Wembenyama sweepstakes going into the season with a terrible looking roster. But with the Jazz being 12-6 and six and first in the Western Conference, I'm honestly convinced no matter who is on the Utah Jazz, they will be a playoff team regardless. But besides all of that, Laurie is having an amazing breakout season and I can definitely see him winning the Most Improved Player Award. And at number 1, we got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shea started his career with the LA Clippers being drafted their 11th overall in the 2018 NBA Draft. He had a decent rookie season, but was traded to the Thunder after his first year in the Paul George trade. Many people believe that Shea had all-star potential in the future, but as of now, it's looking like he leapfrogged that stage is going straight for the MVP award. Shea went from averaging 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists per game last season to 31 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds per game. Not only that, but he is shooting an incredible 53% from the field, 41% from deep, and 90% from the line. If he can keep this up, he would put himself in the elite 50-40-90 club and would easily take home the most improved player award. And who knows, he may even finesse the MVP award. That may be a reach for this season, but with how the Thunder's future is going to look, I wouldn't be surprised if he could take home the MVP award one day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like content just like this one, drop a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.